Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are visiting for the first time, I am Pastor Michael Nicodemus, and what I'm going to be doing in this video is my uh, July 2020 video blog. Yeah, every month at the beginning of the month, I do a video blog. I share a little bit about what I'm doing on my YouTube channel and my ministry, and also uh, a little bit about myself. So we're going to get started in this video right after these messages from my sponsor. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Well, hello, my friends. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be... Uh, hopefully helping you to get to know me a little bit. I am a spiritual health consultant, and what I believe is if you're going to trust me um, with the uh, conditions of your heart or what you're dealing with this world, you need to get to know me a little bit. And that's kind of what I do in each one of my video blogs is I help people to get to know me. So one of the things that I like to do is uh, um, I'm going to ask a question is who am I and where I where do I come from? So uh, I'm going to put a slide on the screen right now and it's going to tell you that I uh, actually wrote a book uh, called uh, What is uh, Heart Refinement? That's my autobiography book and uh, I'll put a link uh, underneath uh, the descriptions of this video on my YouTube channel that will help you to figure out uh, how to access that book if you want to read it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of give you a, a brief overview of uh, where uh, I'm from. So as you can tell uh, on this video, I was uh, um, raised in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. And as you can see, Nebraska here is the good life. And uh, as you know, I'm, I'm referring to my pictures here, but I'm also uh, pulling them up from my uh, tablet so I can uh, keep track of where I'm at. So I was born uh, in uh, the hospital in Alliance, Nebraska. It's called the Box Butte General Hospital. And in this situation, uh, my dad was uh, taking care of cattle. He was a ranch owner, a ranch uh, hand, I guess, not a ranch owner. And my mom went into labor with me, and uh, he just uh, drove her by the uh, um, entrance of the hospital there and dropped her off and said he's got to go check on cows, and uh, he'd be back later. So that's kind of how I was brought into the world. My parents were arguing, and uh, and uh, that's that's sad. That's really really sad. But uh, here is uh, my parents. Uh, I'm in the video uh, on the in the picture with both of them. So uh, I'm in the red shirt just like I am now, and that's my mom. I'm in that picture, and we took a, a train ride through the Royal Gorge uh, in Colorado, and that's like a dome car, dinner car, where you can actually see out. And this next picture is uh, um, a, a birthday card, a big giant birthday card that I gave to my dad. And uh, that was, uh, I don't know, probably eight, nine years ago. I don't really remember. But I thought it was important that uh, you see my mom and dad uh, in the same slide. So both of those uh, um, pictures are on the slide next to me. So uh, where I'm going to talk about now is I have... Uh, um, two sisters and a brother. Um, I used to have an older brother and uh, another stepbrother, but uh, he died. So both of my brothers died, and then I have a stepsister. I didn't feel a need to put her on this uh, slide. So this uh, first uh, picture is my uh, oldest uh, sister and me, and I got my sunglasses on, as you can see. So her name is Robin, and uh, um, I don't have much to say about that. Uh, um, just that it's my, my family. This uh, next uh, picture is my sister Brenda and I, and as you can tell, uh, we're kind of happy in that picture, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that. But uh, we as adults, we get into a life of our own, and we kind of forget that we are family members. This next picture is me and my brother, and uh, we're both wearing sunglasses, and we're both doing the, the you know, the butterfly rabbit ears, whatever you want to call it, but that's kind of the way that uh, him and I joke around, and he's a pretty uh, present in my life today. Um, he's 11 years younger than me, and uh, he lost his father when he was 18 years old, and in this picture, um, he's probably 34, 35, and I'm 46, so that was quite a few years ago, and so it's important to see uh, that I'm a uh, 
an older brother and almost kind of like a father to my younger brother. And so in my spiritual health uh, consulting services, uh, that's important because Jesus is our older brother and we, if we claim in him as Lord and Savior, we follow him. And this is important that uh, we become heirs to the throne of, of God through Jesus Christ. And when we have younger brothers or younger sisters, the sister uh, with me wearing my glasses, she's uh, one year older than me. But my brother and my sister, they're younger than me. And I like to give them advice if they ever need it. And I believe that that's what Jesus is, does when uh, he was helping us uh, while he was here on earth that uh, the disciples they came along and they told the story and we can read about that in the new testament so the next thing uh is my beautiful daughter and as you can tell this first picture is uh i believe this is her prom night uh, it's a very beautiful glamour picture and then this next picture that you see on the screen here is uh she uh got married and i went uh, and walked her down the aisle and uh, i actually got to dance with my daughter and i'll show you that picture here in a minute but on this uh picture uh, here it was my daughter's birthday and uh, she lives about a thousand miles away so i flew out and um, spent some time with her and her husband at their house about two weeks that's important uh and the only reason i started this youtube channel is because my daughter asked me to do that Sometimes we don't have time to spend and talk to each other and my videos are good because if something happens to me, if I was ever to pass away, she'd always have these videos. So what I like about this, my friends, is in this uh, picture, we're, we're dancing together at her wedding. And uh, I'm gonna, hopefully you can see how happy and how content we are in this picture. She's my pride and joy. She, she's my baby. She's my only child, my only daughter and uh, I love her with all my heart. And uh, she uh, sometimes gives me the grace to keep going every day. Well, my friends, I have a love for horses. And so in this uh, picture here, you see uh, a wood carving and uh, I made that carving and that's kind of the passion of my heart. This next picture you see here is uh, um, connecting with uh, a horse that I used to have. And uh, I smiled and she smiled at me and we have we had a pretty good connection there. This next picture that you see is uh, me uh, saddling up a horse. This was several years ago when I used to own the One Heart Ranch Ministries Resort Retreat Center. I know that's a mouthful. But my friends, I used to train horses and I used to do um, demonstration rides, uh, youth camps, uh, church camps, just anything where people needed to come and uh, later on I'll be sharing uh, some more in-depth uh, videos uh, on that. This next picture is uh, of my horse called Gallant Lucky Lady. And that She was a registered uh, quarter horse mare and her and I we performed in uh, ministry videos together and uh, I sang uh, um, and played a guitar from her, for her back and uh, we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. This uh, next uh, picture that you see is uh, my most favorite job that I've ever done was being a, a carpenter, a home improvement specialist. So this first picture of me is uh, actually working on a carport uh, that this guy in a trailer park wanted to turn into a garage. I thought that was pretty cool. This next picture that you see on here is uh, the trailer that I owned and uh, uh, the old pickup that I used to have. And uh, as you can see, we used to have uh, a lot of uh, jobs that I needed that trailer to haul and this is actually uh, like an 8x10 deck and you can see if you look close at that picture you can see uh, the stairs there and uh, these are uh, parts of the deck that I actually cut apart. So that was that's probably in all the jobs that I've ever had being a carpenter, being a handyman, home improvement specialist, it's probably been the most enjoyable job that I ever had and uh, you can call me uh, a remodeling specialist and I work as a pastor as a heart refinement specialist. So remodeling and refinement is about the same thing because you're transforming something into something beautiful that wasn't necessarily beautiful to start with. And this next uh, um, section of pictures, my friends, is uh, um, I used to perform a lot in ministry. So this first uh, picture that you see uh, shows me uh, performing uh, um, from horseback and the, what you're seeing is practice time and uh, I had a female uh, horse wrangler that worked with me 
and I had to play the guitar and uh, use my legs and so you can tell I'm not holding on to that horse but the horse is responding through cues through my legs to be able to move forward to move back to sidestep sideways to sidestep another direction if you keep watching my YouTube videos you'll actually see some of that uh, in a video that uh, is pretty cool this next uh, picture that you're seeing underneath it is actually uh, an actual presentation that I was doing I was uh, singing uh, and preaching from horseback. That's pretty cool. But uh, when I was training that horse, a uh, gallon lucky lady one time, uh, she reared up and threw me off because I was trying to do some pole collected rides with her and then trying to side pass at the same time. She got mad, so I gave her a little spur and she reared up and threw me off because she didn't like that spur. So this next um, picture that you're seeing is uh, I got into uh, puppets. I'm a uh, ventriloquist puppeteer, but because of some uh, medical problems I have, it's a little hard for me to keep doing the uh, different voices. Uh, there was a time that I had five puppets, yeah, five puppets, and they different uh, voices, different personalities, but it was a pretty cool time. I'm also a wedding pastor. A lot of you that uh, don't know that uh, I do wedding services. This uh, first picture is uh, one that I did. It was an outdoor wedding and they wanted to be uh, western looking. So I wore my hat and that's me and that's uh, the couple that I married. This next uh, video, uh, um, in the, this next picture in the video is uh, another couple that I married and uh, they got married up in the Grand Lakes of Colorado and they wanted a real fancy wedding so as you see it's an outdoor wedding and I put my uh, suit and tie on and I had a little uh, headset so uh, everybody could hear me. This wedding was actually done out on a lake um, and uh, we were at, out on the dock so there was people sitting on both sides of this dock out on the shore so I amplified uh, my voice through a uh, voice uh, speaker that I had and that was a great thing for those people to see that. And uh, in this uh, section my friends uh, you know that I was um, a wedding pastor so I offer spiritual health consulting services to wedding couples and as you can tell in this uh, um, picture right here I am married this was the 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 day in the outfits that we had when we got married and as you can tell there's a really nice uh, cross uh, in the background and I think that's pretty cool this next picture that you're seeing uh, on the screen here was uh, the guy that took the picture. He said, be serious, show me your wedding ring so I can um, take a picture of those. So this picture is actually uh, on my uh, wall behind my recliner in the other room. And then I have uh, the five things to make love work and then the things that destroy that love hanging on the wall next to it. One of these days I'll do a video on that. We'll talk about that too. I believe that uh, we need to help each other to stay strong. We need to know what makes love work and we also need to know what destroys that love so we're not focused on destroying love but if we don't know what that is we'll never understand how to make love work if we don't understand what we're doing wrong. This next picture that you're seeing is uh, the probably the first date that my wife and I had and uh, as you can tell uh, she is uh, really happy and so am I and uh, this was taken at uh, I believe McDonald's out of uh, Walmart that we were in and my mom actually took that picture for us and uh, she joined us with that. This next picture you're seeing is we were actually uh, um, dating and uh, that's uh, taken from the bathroom that I had and I still have that and that's a, a cross shower curtain that I had and I said, hey, why don't we take a picture together in front of that? And that's pretty cool. So now, my friends, I want to talk to you about what I did in the month of June on my uh, um, YouTube channel. And as you can tell, I'm going to be putting some uh, pictures on the screen here. These are actually the thumbnails of the videos that I shot. So this uh, first one here uh, shows uh, a Bible study for uh, June 3rd. And uh, I used to do them on once a week I used to do like uh, a bunch of them and then I decided to do only seven of those so I make short videos and as you can tell this video was only nine minutes and 30 seconds um, my videos that I used to do on these Bible studies were 20 30 minutes long got a little redundant I thought this next video that you're seeing is uh, uh, not the video but the thumbnail to the video Oh, it's Bible study for uh, June 10th, and it's uh, just a little bit over eight minutes long. And I'm going to be putting the link to each of these videos in the description below uh, um, 
this video. This next uh, one that you're seeing is midweek Bible study for June uh, um, 17th, and it's only 10 minutes long. So those are pretty good uh, Bible studies. And uh, this next one was a Bible study I did for June 24th. So I promised on my YouTube channel that I would do a weekly Bible study. There are, there are four of them on there. And then on Sundays, my friends, I do a lifestyle video. And so let me talk to you about my lifestyle videos. My lifestyle videos uh, um, are kind of in suit. So this first video that I shot was uh, how to find your life purpose. And that's uh, part one, as you can see next to me right now. Um, a lot of people, they, they don't know what their life purpose is and they don't know how to find it. So if you don't know your values, you're not going to be able to find your life purpose. So I shot a video on that. And uh, another one of the life uh, style videos that I did is uh, I do carpentry work around my house. And because uh, I am a remodel specialist, I shot a video here. And this is on uh, a new ramp that I needed going into my garden shed. Well, I'm talking about the things that become rotten in our life in this video. And I think it's important to, to see that. This next um, um, picture uh, thumbnail that you see is my wife actually did a uh, surprise party for me and I was uh, getting ready to shoot uh, part two of that first video um, that I did there and she came in and interrupted the video and she says bring your friends with you I got a surprise for you and so I picked up the camera that I'm using and went around to the other room and uh, she had a surprise there for me I had filmed a hundred videos and uh, I, that's a pretty good celebration when I first started this YouTube channel in 2011, I did the YouTube channel just to add videos to my website. The first of 2020, I decided to go full time and I started with 16 videos in uh, the first of 2020. And now my friends, I have almost 110 videos. That's pretty cool in just six months. This uh, next uh, picture that you're seeing here is uh, my near-death events question and answer. I did a, a video that uh, talked about uh, um, my near-death event where I seen God, and then I decided to follow up with another lifestyle video on answering some questions that a lot of people had, so you can see that there. And this next video uh, thumbnail here is a uh, um, sales video for stage three for my online school. This is how we start to bear the fruits of the Spirit. We need to understand love, joy, peace, and patience. Those are the characteristic traits of Jesus Christ. We need to understand that. And this last uh, um, picture here is uh, one that I did. It's probably my most favorite one, but it talks about what Heart Art Refinement Ministries is. Heart Art Refinement Ministries is my website. That's where all the resources are, are at or how you can get to the online school from there. But without the website, my ministry would not exist. So my friends, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this video off right here. I hope that you uh, enjoyed getting to know me a little bit, getting to know those people that are significant in my life. I love my family. I love my daughter. I love my wife. I love being a carpenter and I love being a performer, but now I'm a teacher. I'm an online spiritual health consultant. My wife and I are planning to do some uh, spiritual health consulting sessions live on video so you folks can uh, watch along. And I believe that husbands are supposed to be servant leaders. So we are to lead our wives to the heart of God from the heart of Jesus. My friends, that's very important. Wives are supposed to be servant nurturers. They help us to grow in our faith so we can become stronger by taking our lead and following our spiritual path. That's a marriage, my friends. Sometimes we have outside influences. We have exes. We have uh, children that uh, are disbehaving. We have financial burdens, my friends. And yes, I'm having a financial burden. I'm on Social Security Disability. As you know, I suffered a very, very bad injury in uh, 2002 and also a car accident in uh, 2018. So my wife and I, we live off my uh, disability income, which is not very much. So yeah, I ask for donations. And also those monthly donations would be nice. So the information to donate to this ministry is also below in the descriptions of this video. So my friends, uh, I'm going to close now. And uh, if you want to watch the videos that I have so far done for my uh, monthly video blog, I'm going to put a link below in the descriptions. 
so you understand where I'm going. And uh, don't forget to watch this next uh, video up here, my friends. It will uh, explain uh, last month's uh, video and kind of give you an idea of where I was last month and kind of where I was heading and why I'm doing this YouTube channel. Until the next video, my friends, may God bless you. May his face shine upon you and may Jesus always bring you joy. I'll see you later.